Good morning. Making myself a little sort of Indian breakfast. I think it's called Indian Burji, which is this egg recipe that I picked up from India a couple years ago, and it's probably my favorite breakfast. I'm just gonna show you how I make that. So I've got my garlic and ginger chopped. I'm gonna make it a garlic ginger paste. I'm gonna add some onions to it too, just because I don't have very much garlic and ginger for the paste. So let's go for it. My gimbal died, so I'm gonna have to do this kind of handheld. The two pieces of bread. And we're gonna add first ghee. We're gonna put ghee in this bread. This is so good. Like best drink in the morning. Doesn't matter. It'll make your day better. I just like this to get a little golden, a little toasty. Eggs. Oh, very smart what I'm doing right now. So, trying to film, as you can see, not very smart. But in a way, it's smart because now my eggs are cracked. I was able to salvage my eggs. I swear that has never happened. It's never happened. I've cooked this at least 50 times and I have never had a mishap like that, but crazy. So we are going to need some cayenne red pepper. What do you think about my teeny fridge? It's not too bad, is it? For a really old fridge, but small. And we've got our tuna paste. I'm using about this much coconut oil. It's really hard doing this with one hand. I forgot to cut a tomato. I did the same thing yesterday. Oh, my tomato's looking funny. This is good, it'll give the pan time to cool down. Give the pan some time to cool. We are using a cuisine art knife, as you can see. And it really is art. What do you think about my cutting style? What do you think about these? Ooh, you are dusty. We'll just put these right in the pan first and we'll just let them get really, really nice and cooked up. Mmm, it smells so good already. Garlic, garlic ginger paste. You can't, you don't need to just put it in like Indian recipes. Well, this is more of like an Indian American fusion because I'm definitely making it my way. Yesterday I made it, wasn't really spicy enough. That's enough cayenne pepper for today. A bit of too much taste. Four eggs here. One more egg for good measure. And voila, there you have it. So there's so many different ways you can eat it. I kind of like to, you can put it right on the bread, which is kind of what I do. I used to eat it the Indian style, folding the bread, but now I just kind of like to put it right on the bread. So much better. Yesterday I didn't make a garlic ginger paste, but it makes such a difference. I had just put the vegetables in there. Such a difference. I could have added more cayenne though, not spicy enough. You know? Is so good. Probably not the best burji I've made, uh, especially considering I dropped it on the floor, some of the eggs. <laughs> I would probably give it an 8 out of the 10. 
of the, all the, if you're Indian, please leave a comment below and let me know what you call this dish. Basically just eggs, tomatoes, red pepper, turmeric, and onions eaten with bread. I'm just calling it a borgi. I'm going to be doing another Indian breakfast video. Breakfast. I'm so picky about my English. I'm sorry, especially since I started teaching English through immersion online. Um, I used to say breakfast, and now that just drives me crazy. Yeah, another thing that drives me crazy is when people say fur instead of for. It's like, ah. ah. So, anyways, I'm gonna be making poha, which is basically just a flattened rice and potato dish that is served hot, and it also has onions, and it's pretty good for how simple it is. So I hope you like this video. Ah.